Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Shishira, dermatologist practicing at Everywhere Aesthetics and Plastic Surgery, Hyderabad. As sun shines and temperature rises, we all embark the joys of summer. But amidst the beach trips, pool parties, and outdoor adventures, there is always that our skin might encounter a hidden enemy lurking under the skin shadows. I'm talking about the most common summer dermatosis, that is ringworm infection. In medical terms, the ringworm infection we call it as tenia infection. It is a fungal infection caused by a specific fungus called as dermatophytes. So this is most common in summer season because of the moist, humid environment. And it's most common in those part of the bodies where there is most of moist, sweaty con uh, conditions like intertrigenous area. What do I mean by that? The skin folds like armpits, under the breast line, groin area and also on the other parts of the body. This tenia infection is called by various names. For example, based on which part of the body is affected. Most common being the groin area affected. We call it as tenia cruris. If face is affected, tenia facial. If nails are affected, tenia angwa. And say for example, the foot is affected, it's called as athlete's foot and so on. So how do the ringworm infection present like? Uh, somebody who is having this ringworm infection will have extremely itching sensation. The intensity of itching might vary. Some may have in the morning, some may have more in the night, some may have throughout the day. And this itching is also associated with redness, lot of irritation, burning sensation, and all of this will increase more your sweat. And if your clothes are touching, if any hot water comes in contact, say suppose you're wearing very tight clothes and there's a lot of friction between your skin and the clothes. How do they look like? It looks like a very nicely ring-shaped red color lesion or a pink color lesion with a raised border and the inside skin will be normal looking. Uh, it usually starts as a very small peanut sized lesion. In case if you are neglecting it, it slowly starts increasing in its size. Who gets this ringworm infection? Anywhere even from the smallest age group to the highest geriatric age group, anybody can get this infection. What do I mean by that? It's a very infectious disease. Someone who has this ringworm infection, if you come in contact with them, there are high chances of you getting the infection. Prevention is better than cure. This word holds very, very suitable for this ringworm infection. It's not as simple as someone who gets this ringworm infection goes to a pharmacy, uh, takes some antifungal cream and it goes. No. This tenia infection requires a specific prevention strategies and specific treatment strategies. So what are the prevention strategies for the ringworm infection? First and foremost, someone who is already infected with ringworm infection, be careful so that a healthy person doesn't come in contact with you and get the infection. Second of all, a daily taking bath at least twice a day is very important. And third, wash your clothes in hot water. Completely do it as sun dry. Don't wear the damp clothes. That is when the infection increases more and more. Say suppose you got drenched in a rain and got drenched in the beach. Don't be in the wet clothes for a longer time. It's very essential to immediately remove your clothes, dry your whole body parts, and then wear a new set of clothes. Yeah. Always iron your clothes, including your inner waist. Put it into the reverse manner, iron it very properly, and this has to be done in an everyday basis. Self-skin examination is very important in terms of the ringworm infection. Maybe sometimes you're having a slight itching in the underarm area or the groin area. You might neglect thinking that it's just because of your sweat. No, most of the times ringworm infection starts like asymptomatic, wherein you don't feel much of the symptoms. Maybe it would have started in a small peanut size. Unless you would neglect it, it's going to increase in your increase in its size more and more. So always self-examine your skin and more if you are a person who is more into sweating, always make sure you clean the sweaty areas and keep it as dry as possible. When it comes to the treatment, this fungal infection occurs in the very superficial most part of the skin. So it requires a couple of treatments, say for example, like a couple of antifungal creams and lotions and then absorbent powders and also certain oral medications that can tackle this fungus. Along with the prevention as well as treatment strategies, only you can tackle this stubborn fungal infection. And moreover, it's not that you come to a dermatologist and you finish the treatment, it goes. This fungal infection has a lot of waxing and leaning effect wherein when you are on the treatment, it immediately goes. But after that, if you are neglecting the personal hygiene part, it's going to recur again. So treatment strategy has a specific indications here. And I always say, please consult a qualified dermatologist. 
to know more about it. So as I always say, investment on skin is a commitment. So make your choice wisely. Thank you.